G'day guys, welcome back. I've got my huge tray mold that I'm gonna to use today. 32 centimeters, about 13 inches across. And I'm going to do, I if you can see these, I'm gonna use these black pebbles. Um, I'll just pop it on the side there so hopefully you can kind of see a little bit on what I'm doing. Maybe I can just move that over. There we go, how's that? So I wanna do a couple of videos where I do trivets. Like, you know, something that you can take outside um, and pop on your your outdoor dining table and then you can bring in your your hot food and you can put it down because a lot of people don't have, um, you know, heat resistant resin or maybe they struggle with it and so I just thought I'm going to do two videos on trivets. So the first one's going to be the black pebbles. So they're not very, not very thick. They're just, um, they, I, I tried to get sort of flat pebbles. I googled flat black pebbles and on eBay anyway, searched on eBay and it came up. So first of all, I was thinking I would do them like this and I had to go, I bought like two bags so that I could go through them and pick out the flat ones because I wanted flat. So first of all, I thought, you know, of doing them like this um, and then all the way around and then obviously your rings get smaller and smaller and smaller but then I thought well what happens when you get to the center and you've got something a little bit weird there so then I thought well maybe if I do them this way like all kind of pointing up like so Let's see if that would work um, but then again I thought well it might it might not like look nice in the center if I end up with it not being I don't know, like not enough space in the middle and then I've got to do something weird to it. So anyway, I'm just going to put them in randomly. So <laughs> that was what, because I tried both ways, just, you know, put them in. Um, and yeah, I wasn't happy with, with any of them. Now, the other thing, if you do decide to do this, I would suggest that you get your pebbles and you just lay them in your tray or whatever you're doing, um, because just to make sure that you've actually got enough, because... I thought I had enough and I put them in. Um, this was with my second trivet tray that I'm doing. Um, and no, I didn't have enough. So I've put a stop to that. I've ordered more um, and um, we'll go with this one. But that one will be coming up when the other pieces arrive. So um, I'm just gonna get going. I'm, I've mixed up just under 300 grams of resin. This is the Platinum 360 Plus. Uh, so just under 10 ounces. I did 200 grams of A and 86 grams of B. Now because I'm going to use this outside on my outdoor dining table, resin generally does discolor over time. So I thought I don't want to put um, clear resin down because, you know, it's probably going to go that icky yellowish color of, over time. Um, and it's not going to look nice. Um, and I didn't want to do black because I've got black pebbles. And, and white, I didn't want to do white as, again because it can also discolor. So I thought, what color can I use? I'm just pushing this to the edge. Just put two scoops of the mica powder. And this one is the Artie Sue bronze. I know you can't get it anymore, but it's just a bronze pigment powder. Nothing special there because I thought... What about gold? And I thought, mm, no. And brown. And I thought maybe a bit of blue. And then anyway, I came up with the with the copper or bronze. So I thought that would look nice because I've got a timber dining room table. And uh, yeah, I just thought it would look it would look nice in in bronze. So that's it. <laughs> so now you do need, I guess, a relatively thick amount or deep amount. Of resin. I hope that's not going to be too much. Anyway, um, because I want the stones to kind of sink in. Actually, I might have to take my. Oh, I'm just going to take my gloves off for it now. Better not. Hope I haven't put too much in here now. Gosh, I thought that would be perfect. Oh, this one's got a flat area on it at the bottom, so I'll just. Oh, see, that's how deep it is. It's not, it's not very deep. It should be all right. 
I know once I've put all these stones in, the resin's going to displace, like when you get into a bath of water, and the water lifts up like that. So this is going to be no doubt the same. Okay, I can't, I can't use these. I'm going to have to, going to have to take them off. But I'm only touching stones. Okay, if I, if I start getting resin on my, on my fingers, then put my gloves back on. But for now, I'm just going to to do this. All right, here we go. Now I'll do a little bit and then um, I'll probably most likely just stop and uh, fast forward because it's going to be way too boring for you. Ah, okay, you're in. <laughs> uh, so just going to randomly kind of place them. I'll have to wipe that one off. So some will go lengthwise and then some will go that way. Try not to put them. But they are kind of moving in, but as I go, um, I'll kind of push them back a little bit, if you know what I mean. So I'm not going to be too precious about where they go and try and fit them all in perfectly because I don't think that's ever going to happen. And I think it'll look nice with a little bit of, um, you know, the colour, the bronze showing through. And here we go, we just keep going, keep going. And I can see I can touch the tops like this and just move them. So that's okay. I'm going to have to find like a long one to fit in there now, aren't I? But yeah, I think this is just going to be much more simple to do it like this than try and follow a pattern especially if your resin's going to you know maybe go off quickly so I think this will be much more better uh... <laughs> it's quite therapeutic too Just throwing stones in I don't really like that look of that one very much but yeah you can move them a bit you know if you decide that you really don't want them all in the same shape or something you can just you can just move them now I am going to have to just be careful that I'm not putting too much like my resins not getting too high because you know it'll cover them so if that starts happening I will just scoop some out but look I didn't make up a lot did I I just I thought it would be all right I just have to be careful that they don't start you know Resin doesn't come over the edges, because that won't be good. How's it looking so far, guys? How's it looking? Oh, gosh. I can go there. Some are thicker, like deeper than others, the stones. Um, they're not all the same. But I, I went through my two packets of stones that I bought, and I sat there and I go, okay, you're a thin one, you're a thick one, you're a thin one, you're a thick one. And I separated them all. So, and, and some of the stones weren't very attractive and I got rid of those, put them into something else. I'll use them another time. All right, so you can see what I'm doing.
Hey guys, it's the next day and my pebble trivet is ready. Or hot plate, whatever you want to call it. All right. Oh gosh, it's quite heavy. That will be a lovely, lovely thing to have outside on my dining table, I would say. Although the, the mould's very heavy. <laughs> Probably weighs the same as what this weighs. Ta-da! It's out! Look! <laughs> All right, let's pop that down there for a minute. Okay. Let's have a little look at it, hey? Shall we? So there's, that's how thick it is. I think that's a nice thickness. There's the back. Oh, lovely. You just have to take it outside now and then find a hot pot to put on it. <laughs> on a Sunday morning when we all the family get together and we have our bacon and eggs and hash browns and pancakes, we can put the, the pot with the bacon on it or the pot with the hot mushrooms. I love mushrooms with butter. <laughs> they can sit on there. All right, love it. All right, I'll set it up for a, a photo shoot for you a little bit later on. But yeah, really happy with the way that's turned out. Easy to do, hey? Easy. Nice, simple project for you if you're looking for something easy, if you're a beginner. Uh, but you probably saw that I scooped some of the copper resin out. Um, probably didn't need that much. I ended up with about that much left in my cup. I put some, some back. So what did I start with? Close to 300 grams. I would say 200 grams would be ample. You can divide that by um, 30 and uh, it'll tell you the answer. So yeah, not not too thick. Otherwise, you're going to cover your, your pebbles. Um, unless, of course, you've got really thick pebbles, then you're going to put a bit more in. But mine were sort of going under in some places. So probably 200 grams for this size would be perfect. There you go. Love it. And I can put a hot thing on that now without having to worry about, you know, my resin leaving a ring or something like that. Because there's no resin on top. It's pebbles. It's natural polished pebbles. So there you go. Great idea. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And uh, when my other pieces arrive, I'll be doing another trivet for you. All right. So watch out for that one. Okay. Take care, guys. See you soon. Bye for now.